Hello, this is Landon Cox from the eSawdust website, and this is a video assembly guide for the crib for Arduino enclosure. Next, I wanted to show you the variations of adding an Ethernet shield or an Arduino Mega to the enclosure. If you want to convert from a standalone Arduino to one with an Ethernet shield, you'll need an Ethernet shield faceplate. And first off, we'll remove the uh, original faceplate. And we'll insert the Arduino shield. In this case, I had a um, socket on the Arduino that was slightly bent. So I pulled off the uh, shield and align that socket and reinserted the shield. So you should push it down all the way, make sure all the pins are down. So next take the uh, Ethernet shield faceplate. Uh, again it will only go on one way so you may have to flip it around or uh, turn it around in order to fit it. And if need be you can uh, slightly pull on the RJ45 connector in order to uh, make sure that it fits through the faceplate hole correctly. After that, you'll simply attach the bottom screw of the Ethernet shield faceplate. Next, we'll attach the lid. It's just the same as the process we used to use the regular Arduino. So the lid attaches the faceplate uh, exactly the same way. There's no difference. So at this point you've got your Arduino with Ethernet shield all buttoned up in a nice enclosure. And uh, as far as metal shavings go, if you've used this enclosure and tapped these holes before, uh, you generally won't have to tap out any metal shavings. Next I wanted to show you how to put an Arduino Mega into the same enclosure. Uh, this base plate is designed to accommodate either the regular Arduino or the Arduino Mega. You can see the different hole patterns. In this case we'll take the same um, four snap-in standoffs and um, attach them on the perimeter holes of the base plate. You can see that we've already got the uh, end plate uh, on there. Next we'll press the Arduino Mega onto the snap-in standoffs and this is very much like the original Arduino as well. Uh, this time we've got four corners to deal with instead of three. Again, just use your uh, fingers, thumbs, uh, press firmly down. You'll hear a soft snap or a soft, soft click when uh, the board snaps into place. And it's quite solid. It's, it's a, a nice system. Though it takes some electronic uh, uh, modifications, it is physically possible to put the Arduino Ethernet shield onto the Arduino Mega, and the same Ethernet shield faceplate will work for both this and the standard Arduino with Ethernet shield. And finally, this is the configuration where you've got a standalone Arduino Mega and the standard faceplate that we used with the uh, classic Arduino. Now attach the lid in the same way as we had before. It goes between the uh, end faceplates and then we'll button it up same way as we have before. Thanks for watching. This has been the uh, crib for Arduino, where you have one enclosure for either the Arduino or Arduino Mega, and just add an optional faceplate for the Ethernet shield, and you're all set.
Find out more at esawdust.com.